show you what you need to prepare for wearing a yukata. You will need six items. Yukata, half-lift obi, kimono slip, koshihimo, that is yume, and what else? And obita. I will explain about each item. Yukata is the most casual outfit. You can wear it in the summertime or if you're not living in Japan and you are located in like southern Ireland it's really hot, you can wear it. Half with obi, you can wear it for yukata or kimono for a casual occasion. This one is a, such a typical traditional type of half with obi. This one I'm wearing right now, this is a modern type. It's a reversible obi, so you can wear it in this one or you can show the other side kimono slip. I recommend you should wear it for two reasons. It absorbs your sweat and yukata is see-through. There are two types of kimono slip. One is one piece and the other is separate. You can buy it online or you can wear something similar if you're not located in Japan and it's hard for you to purchase one. Koshihimo. It is a narrow belt to keep your outfit tightened. There are four types of koshihimo. Pure silk, Mylon, muslin D-line, and gum. Silk is always the best, but I recommend muslin because it's reasonable and good enough to tighten. That is yume. It's a wide sash to make sure the front part of your outfit stays in the same position. There are also several types of that is yume. Pure silk, linen, gauze, polyester, and gum. I recommend silk to use because you can use it all season. Obita. You use it to prevent your obi from making some wrinkles in the front. There are several types of obi ita. Some have belts on the edge. Mine is this type. Some don't. Some are long, could be wide. Once again, if you are not located in Japan, it is hard for you to purchase such a specific thing. You can buy a plastic board at 100 yen shop instead or use a cardboard temporarily to make it into a shape. Lastly, Geta. It is footwear, mainly for yukata. So I recommend not to wear it with kimono. Thanks for watching. Please leave some comments and don't forget to subscribe. I'll show you how to wear a yukata in the next video. So see you again. Bye.